everyone welcome back to new video in this video we are going to talk about row and column in jetpack compose so without wasting any time let's get started so first we are going to tackle the row so we are going to create a new composable for that and i may i give the name is row example so within this row example within this row example we first create a row and this row will also have modifiers so modifier dot padding and i provided dp padding and then after you choose the fill max width that means it will uh, take the whole width of the screen and i give the height so i actually take a height wrap content so wrap content height okay so this is our row and this is a some modifiers which we want in our row so this is our some properties which is provided by our modifier to the row okay so what is row so suppose if you have any kind of example development before then you heard about linear layout so if we place a linear layout with orientation horizontal so that will represent a row simple and if we are going to represent that linear layout with orientation vertical so this will uh, represent a column that simple as that and if you don't know about linear layout so simple suppose this row is something which will place your views in a horizontally in a horizontal way are using row and within that you are going to create three cards so that means these three card will be placed side by side so i just uh, create a card provide modifier so modifier padding will 12 dp and i want the the height will be wrap content and so as width so i use the wrap content width and within this card let me reformat this and within this card i am using box so box will simple uh, provide you the container in which you can place your views uh, your composables so modifiers i am also want some padding to my box so 8 dp and now this box will have my text view so text and that text is one it's very simple and the modifier padding is 8 dp and then after we are going to use something which is called align so this alignment will basically provide where you want to uh, place this text within this box so if you choose center that means the center of the box center vertically so it will uh, be placed on the center vertically bottom means at the bottom of the box bottom center means at the bottom and the center so this is very simple it will uh, replicate the property which he has so i i don't want to tell you what are these properties doing so that's it and uh, i'm going to copy this card one more time and just paste it here and then after uh, another card so basically we have three cards and what i will do i use the preview to show you the preview how it this thing will look like and here you can see so this is a row and it will contain card which will have box and that box will contain the text so you can see over here so this is our first card this is our second card and this is our third card actually i did not change the text so that is why it is giving me one for all the text now it will be giving one two three if you build and refresh this so that's it for the row and now i am going to tackle the column so just write composable enter uh, column example and instead of doing the complicated thing i just copy this row paste here and instead of row i'm using column so that you can see how similar are these two so 
I just take out the preview from here and attach to the column example see this column will basically contain the three card view and uh, this time it will placed vertically so this is a very common difference between row and the column so I think this is very simple so that's the difference between row and the column and uh, you are going to get the, the code in the github repository link which is present in the description box so I don't think this is very complex this is very simple examples which will give you an idea how the row and the column will uh, work in the jetpack compose so thank you for watching this video and if you like my video please subscribe my channel so that i will upload more videos regarding jetpack compose so thank you for watching this video